For your visit at Chateau Pic Caillou, I am uh, going to show you something which is happening right now for us in March, end of March 2012, is the plantation. Today we received uh, the new plants from the nursery. Last year I ordered uh, the plants with some elements of information such as the grape variety, Cabernet Sauvignon, the rootstock, 114, 10114, and uh, the number of clones, the clone number which I'm going to choose. With these elements, the pepinierist has, the nursery, has prepared these plants, which are now in my hands, and I'm going to prepare them for tomorrow morning. Because tomorrow morning, they will be in the ground, in earth. What I'm going to show you is how do I prepare these plants. The plant I receive is like this. From here to here, it will be in the ground. This is the, the place where you have the craft made between the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is here, and the rootstock, which is here. I'm going to cut the roots like this. Should I say three fingers, approximately? And here I'm going to prune the plant like this in order to leave only one bud, no more. And that bud will open and create one big branch like this, which will, I hope will be very straight. This is how we work at Pic Caillou. And this little plant will be in the soil at that, at that level, approximately, and it will go up and up and up during the first year. This little plant will normally produce a good grape and enough grapes in three years. Next year and the year after, we will look after the growth and the consolidation of everything. We are going to build the plant, the plant but we are not going to produce any fruit. The fruits which will arrive, because they will arrive anyway, will be put down every summer, two months, three months before the crop. Only the third year will be the first time where we'll leave some grapes for production. It's time for us to show you an area which is covering one hectare, which means around 2.2 acres. This area is going to be planted tomorrow morning. You can see that the soil has been prepared. We have been plugging recently and now this soil uh, is ready to welcome the plants these little woods are here to protect the plants against the machines and to help the plant to grow properly. This soil has been chosen for its quality, specifically a dry exposure higher than the rest of the vineyard, very well drained with very fine gravel. These kind of, um, of gravel, uh, little white stones, uh, typical from this area of the Grave, of Pessac Léonien, are exactly the kind of soil we are looking for for planting Cabernet Sauvignon. These soils are well drained, warm, and they help the Cabernet Sauvignon to mature early. I hope that this parcel will become very well productive and specifically in quality in order to add some some more parcels to the final assemblage of Pic Caillou. This parcel is planted in 2012, but it will not be producing wine before 2015. I am going to introduce you to our last child arriving in the family, 2011. This wine is En primeur. In other words, this wine has been staying and aging in barrel for only four months.
This wine is going to be bottled in May 2013. This wine is a baby. This wine is at 100% exactly the wine which is going to be bottled. This wine is a very fair and good idea of what is going to be. But this is what we call an imprimeur wine. And this kind of tasting is mostly reserved for the professionals of the wine trade. I'm going to taste this wine. Of course, as a very young wine, the, the color is very dark, dark purple, black purple color. And the nose is dramatically intense with a lot of uh, wood and black currant fruit coming out with a lot of intensity. The wine this year, due to certain difficult climatic conditions, has a majority of Cabernet Sauvignon. This wine, compared to the other vintages, has less Merlot and then the, the style of the wine is a little bit less opulent than the previous vintage. We have a wine which is going to be very stylish, very elegant, very clean, with a very good structure, a, a straight structure, which is uh, 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 the, the classic structure of the great Bordeaux from the left bank. The fact that we have this equilibrium with the Cabernet Sauvignon at 60% makes the wine a little bit more severe compared to uh, the other vintages. But on the other side, it makes the wine maybe a little bit more elegant, maybe a, a little bit more stylish. And this is why I am very fond of that vintage, which I'm pleased to introduce today to the wine trade.